Hi everyone, so it is the next day now that I'm filming the second part of this video. So I did move my vanity across the room. I have my mirror here. I do have next to the mirror a couple of small luck shelves from Ikea. Now I know that it would look better if both of these shelves were a little bit lower. However, I didn't want to put them lower because I want to be sure that I have below this shelf enough room to store some makeup. And on these shelves I do want to store my nail polishes and my perfumes. So previously I stored them in the high IKEA lock shelf system, but unfortunately I can not fit that one next to my vanity anymore because over here, I don't know, yes you can see it, over here we do have a pipe going up so there's just not enough space for that so instead i do have these two shelves now for nail polish and perfume let's start with nail polish actually so at the moment i am storing my nail polishes in this glass container with golden detail in it i do want to move my nail polishes away from this container because this is a little bit too large. There would be still more room for nail polishes and I do not want to grow my nail polish collection at all. Instead, I do want to downsize it. I do want to move my nail polishes to this little container where I have been storing my complexion products on top of my vanity. So what I will be doing before I'm able to move the nail polishes here is that I'm going to move the complexion products to this container. These kind of makeup containers do get kind of nasty pretty quickly with all of the powder fallout and sometimes because of like foundation and other liquid type of products. Oh my gosh, do you remember the, uh, what's it called, makeup mess pack or something like that? I think the tag was created by Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. I actually have filmed that video. Not sure if I want to link it though. It was like over four years ago when I had just started my channel. Ah, this one has some staining in it, but I that is just not coming out, but it doesn't matter. You know, it is enough if I get everything that I can. I'm also going to give a quick wipe to my products before I put them there because I have not done it in a while and then this container needs to be wiped all clean okay so now this is clean and we can move my nail polishes here so I think I do want to store my top coats and my base coat here they would take one smaller section from the front, but I'm not sure how I should store the other things because I know these sections are so small that they won't fit many nail polishes. Okay, so I was able to fit my Catherine and Essence nail polishes to the front. I hope I can fit the rest back here. Okay. I was able to fit all of the nail polishes here, plus my top coat and base coat. Is it the best it could be? No. But as I said, I do want to downsize this category a little bit. There's not really any colors that I feel I would need to add into my collection right now. Next year I would want to pan at least a couple of my nail polishes. And yeah, hopefully in future have a little bit less. But yeah, I'm glad I was able to fit everything here. This I am going to put to the... I'm not sure. I almost think I want to store them on the shelf on the top. The rest of the nail stuff I am just going to throw to this little basket where I do have some random stuff that has been on my vanity drawer. So we're going to clean all of these random baskets later. 
Then over here I do have my perfumes. I only do have four at the moment. I actually wouldn't mind adding a couple of more to my collection, but you know, I'm kind of picky with perfumes, so I have not bought too many, but yeah, I would like to add some to my collection. So the perfumes I'm just going to put here. So there they go. Okay, so I took you a little bit closer because you don't need to see really the shelves anymore. Now we are actually going to put the stuff that comes on top of the vanity on its place. And below this I do want to put my eyeshadow products and also my lip products. So let's start with the eyeshadow palettes. Also, I do have here the palette with my Depotted Cheek products and it's actually kind of like nasty. I need to wipe it clean. I kind of miss doing build your own palettes. This is the palette that I have been using for that. But right now it doesn't make sense because I'm panning two palettes and there's more than enough of eyeshadow for me to use in those palettes. At the moment I do have here just my deposit cheek products. So let me put them here. I don't have many anymore. Ooh. There was some blush on the bottom of this pan, so I need to wipe those clean too. And wipe that again. <sighs> Alright, so now I'm going to put here my Depotted Cheek products. Next year maybe I want to pan the one where there is just a little bit of pan, but hopefully this year I can get these two done. So this one also is something that I do store in this container. I am going to take out from here the palettes that I know I'm not using at the moment. Well, actually, what I know for sure that I want to store in this container is this magnetic palette with my cheek products, this one because it's my another palette palette, and this one because it's my another palette palette. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest. Well, the Gimme Glow Christmas Morning palette is really Christmassy. I'm just not feeling it yet. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar, I love it. It's my favorite palette. It's also my oldest palette, but you know, I just cannot see myself using it at the moment. It has got a similar shade to these two palettes. The Urban Decay Naked Smoky. I don't know if I should keep this one if... You know what, no. I'm going to put all of the other palettes away, except those ones that I am panning, because then if I want to use one of those palettes, which I doubt, I can very well pick it from the vanity drawer, it's not an issue. And as I said, next year I do want to do Pando's eyeshadows rather than Panda palette, because I really want to rotate through my eyeshadow collection better, but next year these palettes are no longer going to be in my collection, or the Sienna palette I will declutter, the KVD palette I want to depot. I also think I will put here my cheek palettes. That goes there. And these. I am just going to put them to the vanity drawer. We will organize that later, but that is the address they are going. Also, I'm just going to right now put there this basket with my collection products. Okay, so here's my lip product container. I do want to store it like this, I think. It doesn't really matter at this point. From this container, I'm going to take some of the products out and put to this basket. And then anyways, I will need to empty this entire thing because it needs to be wiped clean since it has been on the top of my vanity for a long, long time. There totally is some dust here. So here I do want to put other eye products, but eyeshadows I'm not going to put here. So eyeshadow primers go there, my mascara goes there, my eyeliners and my brow pencil go there. And from here I'm going to put my lash curler, which I'm wondering if I should change the 
what is it called? Wealthy silicone part. But you know, it's still works. So I'm not going to change it. I do have the Shiseido lash curlers. I do have here my sharpener. These are like the ABH Pro scissors, but I just trim my polish glasses with these. And it's always handy to have a pair of scissors on hand. I do have here a last glue. I actually recently bought, bought a new one since this one is starting to be on its last leg, but that goes there. These, I'm not sure where I want to put them. They are lip care products. I don't think I want to store them on top of my vanity, but I don't want to store them with my, you know, eye products and tools. So this basket goes now to the drawer and these I will just put to one of those messy baskets with a lot of stuff that need to be organized. Okay, then over here I do have my loose eyeshadows. I am just going to take them out. So these are the ones that I am still keeping. I just decided to declutter that one. Then over here is my one eyeshadow quad that's also going to go on top of my vanity. But now I will need to wipe clean this container. Okay, so I took you a little bit closer so that you can see it better. Yeah, now I'm just going to put here my uh, small eyeshadow products to the lower drawer. So my eyeshadow quad and also my loose eyeshadows. So here they go. I'm not sure how I should organize the lipsticks. Like I'm not sure what I want to store in the drawer. I think at least I want to put my lip glosses to the drawer. This lip gloss actually is in my um, lip product rotation, so I'm going to put that one here. But other lip glosses are going there. Are those the only lip glosses I have? I have only five lip glosses. I don't know when that happened. I think that's a good thing. In general, I'm not that much of a lip gloss person. I'm not sure about the lip liners though. I think I want to store them in the drawer because they are so small and I don't think they look pretty. So here are my lip liners. I also do have here a lip brush. They go over here. So yeah, over here in this drawer I do have now my lip liners and my lip glosses. Then up here I want to put my traditional lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. This one actually is in my lip product rotation for now. This one is also in my, you know, lipstick rotation. And this one is also in my lipstick rotation. This is actually kind of annoying. It doesn't stand here, but I guess it stands here well enough. When it is not in the rotation anymore, I can put it back here. But for now, it goes like that. And then there is one more which is this one. Okay, so here in the front I do have now all of the lip products that are in my lipstick rotation. So next let's put some of the liquid lipsticks and I do have here like a one lip crayon. Let's put them back there. And then the lipsticks. I noticed now that I forgot to wipe like half of the lipsticks. Some of them I did wipe, some of them not, but if I see something being dusty, I will wipe it. I want to store my lipsticks like the highest ones in the back and the lowest ones in the front. So yeah, over here I do have my lipsticks at the moment. You know, I do like this container now way better than before doing this organization. This one was so messy, this top part was so full and yeah, it just it did not look pretty. I had random stuff in the drawers. The drawer in the bottom was difficult to close because, the, because of the lash curler. This is going to go back there. Okay, so I took you a little bit back because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do next. I do have all of my jig products here. I do want to store these on top of my vanity, but I'm not sure how I want to store them. So I do have here this kind of like plate tower. I used to store some of my jewelry in this one. And I think that this could work to store my jig products. But then again, this one is another option. You know what, I'm just going to wipe 
clean both of them well this one I wiped clean previously but I'm going to wipe this one clean and I'm going to try which one is better either way I will put my cheek products here well the very first thing that I do know is that at least one of my cheek palettes which which is this beauty bakery one I need to store here I'm not sure if you can see it let's actually start with taking this one this container and putting the cheek palettes there's my cheek palettes you know those are not something that I really collect maybe I would like to add the Too Faced natural face one to my collection but not more than that for me I have been thinking about my makeup inventory and three cheek palettes is like my max I don't want to have more than that this is good for now I have their my cheek palettes and the palettes I am panning then I'm just going to try putting my other cheek products here. I do have at the moment only two bronzers. Obviously the bronzers get the top plate. Then to the middle one I think I want to put my highlighters. I actually do have more of single highlighters than blushes. How did that happen and when has that happened? I don't know but I'm going to change the plan. The highlighters go down there and the blushes which I don't know if there's something missing no I just don't have that many because I have depotted my essence blushes and one of those broke so that would be if I stored his G products here I actually don't necessarily like how it looks they kind of slide here and it looks like it's not really well thought out so you know what I think I'm going to put the cheek products to this container I think it's going to work better the bronzers only need one small section from here maybe I will put the blushes that I have at the moment here and the highlighters here or maybe I could store both of them like in the large section, the blushes and highlighters. If I put highlighters there and blushes there, oh, I don't know if that works. If I put highlighters back there, uh, no, they won't go side by side. Maybe if I just put them not necessarily even in like the, a product order because you know the thing is that I know what these products are without opening them for example I know the silver hourglass one is highlighter the bronzy one is a blush they don't necessarily need to be like highlighters on their own and blushes on their own okay you know what I think that works it goes back there this one I will need to find another way to use it because it's beautiful I do want to store it visible but it's not necessarily the best for storing makeup. Okay, then the last things that I am going to store on top of my vanity are these. So the smaller mirror and then my makeup brushes. But these are so dirty that I will need to really wash them with like a dishwasher. So I'm going to do that off camera and then I will be soon back to filthy. Rubber. Okay, so I noticed that my camera battery is a little bit low, so we might need to kind of like rush through the rest of this video. So I already do have here my complexion products in this one container, and you know what, it is a little bit full, but I think I want to store all of them here. Behind this drawer I do want to put a drawer with my backups and stuff which is not a lot of products that goes back here. The makeup brushes that I am not using at the moment so that are just kind of like backup sort of thing I want to put them there and I think I want to put there also 
my hair band which I will need to try to wash and then I'm going to take one bus oh my god this one was something that I was supposed to empty I have not done it yet so I will put it away but maybe I will store lip care or something here if it just fits here well I don't know these might fit here if they do my lip scrub and lip balm I'm going to put them here but I don't know yet all right oh there's also some like liquid foundation or some other dirt so I will need to wipe it a little bit more okay so this is now as clean as it gets right now so here I am going to put some of the kind of like random stuff so my nail polish remover some cotton patch this one I use for like digging under my nails I do have like an Acure oil this is really really old I use it for cuticles once in a while this is for refreshing it goes there these I don't really use but they go there too nail scissors sort of thing maybe the lip care products also I want to put here and also some what are these called cotton sticks anyway they go there too okay I do want to store it here and then well maybe the brushes that I don't use I'm just going to put them back there because I don't use them then the hair band I'm also going to put there no the brushes can't be there because then I cannot put the backup basket next to this one so I'm going to put those like that maybe the brushes there okay this is basically just trash well there is like an Ikea pencil and then I have saved uh, from the Dubridge Natural Eyes palette the tutorial card maybe I will put it here then I do have here the empty swatching sticks I'm going to put them here okay I'm pretty happy with that so these are now kind of like extra I will need to wipe them clean but I'm not going to use time right now to do that because as I said I am low on my battery so here I do have the makeup bags that I use if I go somewhere so yeah I think this one is enough for me and this one I am going to store away except one thing I do have this Real Techniques retractable cup hooky brush I'm not sure well it fits here right now but now if I put here the powder that I would use for doing a touch up which is the this one NYX can't stop won't stop powder foundation this one won't close anymore maybe I will just keep using this one or then I do have one black furry one that I actually think is nicer for fall so I'm actually going to switch to that one let me just grab it okay so here it is the black furry one I actually really like this I do want to you know use this one as my take with me makeup pack for fall so let's put the stuff here so the Real Techniques Kapuki brush then I do have the um, Beauty Blender Blood Cerati they need to be actually washed but I'm now going to just put them there then this one is empty then I always take with me the powder and also my lip product and then if I do wear fall glasses that, that day I do take a lash glue with me just in case then I do have here a couple of like feminine hygiene products so they go there too and yeah this is something I'm going to take with me if I go somewhere and I like it because it's actually kind of like narrow so it's not that bulky and then to the drawer I will put my magnetic palettes and the eyeshadow palettes that I am not using at the moment and then also my padding notebook that I want to be kind of like in the front like that will that 
close, yes, that will close. Uh, I don't know, I don't necessarily want to have the Too Faced palette on top of that pile, it will be too much. Okay, I can get my palettes there and my padding notebook goes nicely there. Or maybe the Too Faced palette back, maybe the makeup back. It makes more sense to store it there because I actually use it almost daily. Okay, then here it is when looking from a little bit further away. I really do like how everything is organized at the moment. I do like having some products on top of my vanity, but not everything. So yeah, I'm really happy with the result. But the most important thing is that at the moment I do have all of my makeup products, my entire vanity I do have next to my wardrobe. Only one wall of the room is for my kind of like girly stuff. That is more, le more than enough for me. Now we can move the guest bed to the other wall. That's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please put thumbs up. I personally love watching this kind of videos. I have seen some people recently doing this and I always watch them. I feel it's so satisfying to see when other people rearrange and clean their makeup. But that's everything for today. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one. Bye bye.